New tonight, 100 blue rocking chairs have been put around the Queen City, and there's a couple of reasons why. The city's planning department is trying to use them to generate buzz about Charlotte's 250th anniversary. It's also a way for people to sit and share ideas about transforming public places into vibrant, useful spots. Rachel Lumberg in Charlotte's Noda neighborhood with a closer look at the city's efforts. What better way to enjoy the day than to sit in a rocking chair? This is one of the spots right in the heart of downtown Noda. There are a couple rocking chairs. The hashtag is rock with CLT. That's the idea behind these rocking chairs all across the city. The group behind it is hoping people will just sit down, have great conversations with others and enjoy what Charlotte has to offer. Rocking chairs are kind of our thing, but we're the modern, hipper, uh, more up to date uh, version of it. The trend not only rocks at Charlotte Douglas, but now at several popular spots across the Queen City. Monica Carney Holmes is behind this idea. It's really about enlivening our public spaces and people getting to celebrate their community. 100 recycled rockers have a new home outside the NASCAR Hall of Fame, Romir Bearden at the corner of Trade and Tryon. At several of the libraries. And even around Ballantyne, the Arboretum and University City. You'll see them at some of the transit stations like out at Eastland. But I had to clear the air with this one. So is it Carolina or Duke Blue? I know, I know. Yeah, well, it's kind of a, a perfect between, right? So it's not baby blue, it's not sky blue, and it's not dark blue. So I think we can steer clear. Of, and if anything, it's more Panthers blue, right? You have until December to use the rocking chairs all across Charlotte. Rocking in Noda, I'm Rachel Lundberg, NBC Charlotte.